catch lightning. This is the go-kart next to the pedal bike that I built it from. So you can actually see side by side what the differences are. Right where the chain used to be is where the e-battery is. I took off the pedals, the seat remained the same spot, everything remained in the same spot with the addition of, I had to build a platform for the motor and the battery and for the pedals. So what now it basically extends behind the seat which does make it uh, tippy because of the amount of torque it has. If you floor it right from the get-go, it will, because it's essentially one-wheel drive, uh, flip the go-kart backwards. It does uh, kind of have a built-in, uh, I guess, wheelie bar, so to speak, because it just grinds on the, uh, the wood there. And so where the chain is on the e-bike, or the e-go-kart, I used the chain guard from the pedal bike and moved it back and turned it around and cut it. If I had to do it again, I would have uh, left more of it intact because there's a bit of a gap there now. Uh, but live and learn, right? So if I build another one, I'll measure it out better. I joined the two together uh, with zip ties because it doesn't, it kind of gets squashed underneath the seat because it does sit much higher. And again, uh, the e-bike battery fits in there nicely if you get the canister, lithium ion. This was just a piece of metal I had that I bent up. The gas pedal you can order uh, along with the motors. And you need to find a nice place to attach it, which is what I did here. I'm assuming this is on. So the switch to turn it on and off is not super conveniently located. It's right here, so I bent up the key actually to get it on the way of your foot. It's on, off. And if you want to check the uh, battery capacity, there is a button here. You can push. And although the battery is a, a quick release, it'd be tough to get it out of there now because it's uh, basically the seat and this is in the way. So I could remove it if you take off the seat and remove this and pull the battery back because it is on a track. That's how it mounts, in fact, is it, is it mounts to a track. Now if you flip it over, right, you'll see that there's a base in the bottom now which I used extra plywood I had. I built it out of wood because I found it much easier just to, to tinker with myself and cut it rather than uh, and then you can buy some L brackets go on it. So what I did here is rather than weld it, again because I didn't know the exact sprocket I wanted to use, the time is I took the existing sprocket that powers the uh, bike here again. You'll notice only one wheel spins when you turn this. So that's essentially, this one's a three-wheeler. It's one-wheel drive. Um, I bolted it, so I cut holes, or drilled holes, through this sprocket and attached my bigger sprocket. 
because the chains for these e-bike electric motors are not the same, um, I guess, width. They're much tinier chains. Let me check out this guy. Oh, you can't even see it because it's covered up. Uh, so you have to take my word on it. It's a much bigger sprocket that drives this. And you are going to need to get yourself a new chain to go with a sprocket and uh, a bicycle chain tool so you can get the, uh, the length of the chain because they come in big, I guess, non-joined lengths. Um, and just recently I, I made myself a little manual chain tensioner, which is this guy here. Because what I found was, even though this can move back and forth, it has adjustment because there's so much torque and power when you first start up that this is incapable of holding it in place. It always wanted to push back, which would make the chain too loose and fall off. So by building a simple manual chain tensioner, again, it's just a bolt with a bracket. I made a little L bracket here with two nuts on it. So you can loosen them off and adjust it in or out. That pushes, again, the one wheel drive axle this way, which tightens the chain. So now after a lot of use, even if my chain does get loose, I can uh, tighten it up again. So you have old cars, you'll find the same thing a lot on belts, whether it's a power steering belt or alternator belt, they'll have these very similar manual belt or chain tensioner. And that's about it. I'll try to post the actual eBay items I used to build this. So, battery, right? the motor, this is an 800 uh, volt motor. The battery's not putting out 800 volts, but I, 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 I wanted to overbuild it. So this, it's been riding it around for the last two hours, and it still has full battery. And I'm guessing, um, like it doesn't get hot. If you use the smaller, like 350 volt batteries, which you'll find in little scooters, they will heat up a lot. So the bigger the motor, uh, I find the longer you can run it and it won't get hot. In addition to, you can take a much bigger uh, e-bike battery. And again, I'll post this one right here is a 38 volt, 13 amp 